sponsored by Hoosier Lottery. Oh my goodness, I'm here with Kim at the Mary Arch Farm vendor booth, and boy, do you have a lot going on. First of all, Kim, thank you for letting me behind thank this you awesome. Coming and talking to I me. mean, That's seriously. Awesome. So, what I love is that you guys, have, your family has been in the booth doing this for a long period of time. How long has it actually been that you've been a part of the Cover Bridge Festival? So, this is the 60, 62nd year. Um, Grandma and Grandpa, Grandma done it at least 52. Um, this is my 16th, 17th, 18th year probably doing it myself. Um, I don't know. It's been a while. <laughs> what is it like to be a legacy legacy vendor? Because, I mean, you guys are one of the founders that have been a part of this festival selling and, and all this stuff. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, that's my favorite part, I think. I love um, loyal customers coming back and being referring it to it as, oh, this is Miss Foxworthy's booth. I'm like, that's great. Um, it, I don't know. I think that's one of the cool things. I think that's why I keep it going is the legacy part. Okay, now what exactly do you sell? Because I see all the jams and jellies, but you have other things too. Um, we have pumpkin rolls. We have persimmon pulp. We have peanut brittle. Um, we normally have some breads, but I don't have that right now. Um, we have sassafras roots. Have you ever smelled sassafras? No, I haven't. I have some. Huh? Okay. I just want to let you know, I have some friends too that are going to experience this with me. I found a couple people who have no idea about sassafras. So let's smell this. Okay. Guys, who would like to go first? Mr. Mo? Okay. What does it smell like? It's different. It's different? It's different. All right. What about you? Go ahead. Smell it for me. What does it smell like? Like mint. Mint? Would you like to smell it? <laughs> so we have to smell to experience. And now what exactly is this for many people who may not know at home? So a lot of old time people, a lot of people know it as tea, sassafras tea, if you've never had it before. But you can have it in candy. You want to try some candy? Yeah. Who doesn't like to try candy? Exactly. Okay. This is from, there's three of us originals here. There's Foxworthy, Smiley's, and Mises. And this is Mises Sassafras Candy. So okay. You guys go first because I still have to talk and I've learned my lesson to talk on air and it's kind of hard. Okay, why don't you try it? You guys try it. Okay, on a count of three, I want you guys to try it. One, two, three. Oh, now get a nice, okay, I'll try it too. Of course, I get the biggest piece. Okay, now what do you think it tastes like? It's good. Okay. What is the flavor? Flavor palette. I don't know. It's different, but it's good. It's different and good. What about for you? Root beer. Root beer. That's what I got. I got root beer, too. Root be is that what everybody says? A lot of people say that it's comparable to root beer. See, at the Cover Bridge, you can taste, try, buy, everything you can think of. Why is it important that folks come out not only to, ex sorry, I'm chewing while I'm talking, experience the Cover Bridge Festival, but also hang out with you? I don't know. I think it's all about the homemade goods. I don't know. I think it's just about being personal with people and not just trying to sell you junk. <laughs> Seriously, and that's what it is. It's a personal connection. You are teaching the city girls something new teaching me everything I need to know about the Cover Bridge Festival. Once again, guys, the Cover Bridge Festival is going on till the 21st, and it's 9 to 6. You guys can come on by and check out the beautiful vendors, especially hang out with Kim.